Hey guys, Roman Sliders here. It's the 16th of February 2012. Time for the news today. Assassin's Creed 3 has been confirmed to be released on the 30th of October this year. The company announced yesterday during a call with investors that the game would be released in time for Halloween, bringing a game forward from the usual November series release. Ubisoft's boss, Yves Guillemot, stated that the game would be the biggest launch in Ubisoft's history and that the game had been in development for three years. Assassin's Creed 3 will star a new protagonist, leaving Altair and Ezio behind. I'm personally very excited about this, as the quality of the previous titles have been excellent, although I don't know if Assassin's Creed 3 will wrap up the franchise, or more integral games will be released afterward, like Brotherhood and Revelations. Twisted Metal is the next video game to be given the movie treatment. The film will be directed by Brian Taylor of Crank fame. Twisted Metal, which is incidentally a Sony property, and of which a new game has been recently released, features several competitors, most notably Sweet Tooth and Dollface, competing in a Death Race style underground tournament, organised by a man known as Calypso. Given the not so stellar history of video game adaptations, we'll have to reserve judgement until the film comes out, though no release details have been confirmed. The Massachusetts Convention Center Authority has signed a deal with PAX East organizers to bring the East Coast Gaming Convention to Boston for at least 10 more years, up to 2023. The previous contract was set to expire after the 2012 show, which will be held from the 6th till the 8th of April, with PAX East organizers stating that they are hoping to grow attendance for the three-day show size to 100,000, making it one of the biggest video game conventions in terms of size. As part of the new deal, PAX East organizers have agreed to donate $25,000 to the Massachusetts Digital Games Institute that aims to promote a dialogue between academia and the gaming industry. Though this piece of news doesn't mean much to me living in the UK, it will no doubt excite those from across the pond, and highlights the importance of video game conventions as a way to promote innovation within the industry. That's all I have for today. Please feel free to leave a comment on any of the topics I've covered, as I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, peace out guys.